See, it is my final project on login and registration system implementing on any Android app using MITS. Here you see the simulation of my project, the complete project. Uh, I go for the start. Uh, suppose uh, we have to register first uh, to enter my apps. So for that we have to click the register button. We click on that. And when you click on this register button, a new window will come. See, the registration window is come. Here this field I created, and same thing we created in MySQL Server also. When we fill with this data and click this register button, this all data will go to the MySQL database and save to all database in a table format. So now put, I, uh, put some details, suppose I give a name on it. Mobile number I do it. 12. Now the field is a full name. Suppose the full name is C A B B A B. Now my email ID. I suppose I give my email ID. Um, Answer it. Then I give a user ID, then I use a password, I give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now press the register button. Now, as I told earlier, when you raise this register button, this data will store to your mind for time. Okay. See, record added successfully, the message is come. This message is sent by the server itself. So, this record are saved in server. My Click to my admin page and then I create a table and we have the same field what we take in the registration form format. Now see the data. This data is from on one. So the this database is coming my PC admin, the exact the username, password, mobile name, data first, and everything is coming in this from the registration form. Now check check the login if it is work or not. I am using the same username which is here. And also put the password. And press the login button. And it shows the record login. Okay. And enter in the main page. This is the main page. You can see it. That means the login and registration system is working properly. Now see, in the main page, there is the website link of mine. And it is done. Everything is done. In the main page, there is so the login system is working properly. Now we have to see the log diagram of log representation of the system and how it works. Now see it is a very easy one. The main block of this is when the login button click will fall. It will send the sorry, it will send the 
need to paste into user ID, user name, and the password combination. And rest of work has to be done by the PHP itself. Now, I later on, I will show you the how the PHP works. And see here, this block. After work has been done by the PHP, the server will send you the response, response content. And I written in a server that is the password and PHP program of the login system here. The same thing here, here is the database name, username and the host name of my uh, server. And after connecting the server, see the simple logic I need here. And uh, get the user ID from the Android apps, the user ID and password, and they run the query. So you need select from NV cafe, NV cafe is my the table name of the cafe, uh, user ID, user ID and password is password. If, if my SQL number rows Later than you know that means they have we already show that uh, every data has a number like this data is stored in the customer ID that is there. So anything match above than zero, then it will give you a feedback message login. So we already saw in our mobile generator also when the login is done, it shows the login. And if the login is wrong, then it will give you the message login is error. So in my program, see the response code which is uh, received from the server is the uh, response which is login is ok. Here, see the return login is ok. Then it will open the main screen and it will give you a notification login is ok. And also, it will a another screen which is main and in this main screen, you can. Uh, keep your main program or main application. So this application is protected by the user, uh, user ID and password. Now if the message from login in error, then it will give you the notification password and user ID combination is wrong. And you cannot able to enter the main program. So this simple logic is used to build this system. Thank you.